All right, so feeding video out of your laptop from a live truck is pretty simple. But before we start, we have to take a look at a couple of the components that we're going to be using to perform this task. The first component is the Canopus. The Canopus is really just an analog to digital or a digital to analog converter. What that basically means is that this device takes a signal that is digital and converts it to analog or takes a signal that's analog and converts it to digital. The next thing we look at is the firewire switcher, which is located immediately below the Canopus. What the firewire switcher does, it basically connects your laptop to either the Canopus or the XD Cam deck, in this case the 1500. It's a patch panel or a, a router, if you will. The last component in a stream out process are your video switchers and audio mixers that are feeding the two gigahertz or seven gigahertz microwave transmitters. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is take a regular four pin to six pin firewire cable. We're gonna take the four pin end and we're gonna insert it into the laptop. We're gonna take the six pin end and we're gonna insert that into the patch panel that's located in the truck. Once we've done that, we're going to select what exactly we're gonna to wanna to do with the signal. Where, where do we wanna route this firewire signal coming out of the laptop? Where do we wanna route that to? If you look at the firewire switcher, there are a lot of inputs, but we're only using three of them. Input number one is the 1500 deck. Input number two is the Canopus. Input number three is your patch panel. So for instance, if we wanted to send video out of the laptop to the Canopus to stream out, select input two and patch that to input three. When you connect the Canopus to the laptop, the laptop reads the Canopus and gives you a message. The window that pops up basically asks you what to do with the Canopus. What we want to do at this point is select take no action and hit OK. If you remember, I mentioned earlier that the Canopus is both, it's bi-directional. It'll do analog to digital or digital to analog. We have to tell it which direction we're going. In the case of feeding out of your laptop, remember your laptop is digital and we need to convert it to analog. So if we look at the Canopus, there'll be a little button in the front panel that says mode and there's a light next to it. And basically, you want to make sure that you're DV to analog. That means that the signal is flowing through the Canopus from digital to analog. Now, once you've done that, we then need to route that signal out to the transmitter. And to do that, we simply go to either the 2 gigahertz or 7 gigahertz, depending on which transmitter we're using. We go to their respective video switchers and simply select Canopus. It's input number 11 on the video switcher. Just like we were routing a camera when we're doing a live shot. Now, if you look at your audio mixers, there are two pots on that mixer. One of them says CP channel one, the other one is CP channel two. That's Canopus channel one and Canopus channel two. This is where you adjust the audio coming out of the Canopus and out to the transmitter. If for some reason you're not seeing a video signal coming out of the transmitter, one thing to verify on your laptop is whether or not the laptop itself is putting out a signal to the firewire port. If you look on the bottom of the timeline, there will be a button. Now that button is either gonna be yellow, half yellow, half green, or full green. What you want is that button to be full green and you change the modes on that button simply by pressing on it, left clicking on that button. That button is the video quality selector and you want green because that's full quality. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on that button. Once you right click on that button, a menu will pop up. And in that menu, you basically want to verify two things. First thing you want to verify is that the output to DV device is selected. Once output to DV device is selected, you are streaming video out of the Firewire port and out into the Canopus. Once you've done all of this, you should be feeding video out of the laptop to the transmitter and we should be seeing it back at the building. And that's pretty much all there is to it.